Welcome to our series of videos looking at the project section of Plotter. And in this video, we're going to look at the series view and how you can use it. So as you can see, I have three books set up in this series. The Three Little Pigs, The Wolf Strikes Back, and Return of Mother Pig. If you'd like to go to the timeline for any of the individual books, you can simply click on the book cover and it will bring you to the timeline for that book. Each book has an individual timeline and outline, but they share notes, characters, and places. So if we return to the timeline, you can switch between the individual books here as well. In the top left corner, from the book chooser, you can simply click The Wolf Strikes Back. And now we have the timeline, an outline for The Wolf Strikes Back, but we still have all the notes, characters, and places we created from our series. And if we return to the timeline, Not only can we choose the individual books from the book chooser, we can also choose the series view. And if I do that, it will bring me to the timeline for the overall series. So here is where I can plan out the events and the arc of the entire series. So where it says beat one, I can click to edit and name this the three little pigs. And then add another one for the wolf strikes back. And then a final one for Return of Mother Pig. You can also use the scene cards to add details about each story. So I can add details here, details about the second book, and then the third. I can also hover between the two books to add any interceding events that happened in the story. So these can be events not covered in a book. So this can be events that happen between two books, but still important to understand and keep track of. Additionally, we can add more information at the end, or we can add additional plot lines to keep track of subplots or anything else that spans the entire series. And just like in the timelines for the individual books, you can move the scene cards around, you can move the chapters around, and you can move the plot lines. And like the individual books, you also have access to scene card templates here, or to the starter plot templates, simply by clicking on Use Templates. So if you'd like the overall arc of your series to follow the 12 chapter mystery formula, you can click that, choose, and add in that starter plot template. So that covers using the series view for your projects. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for all our latest tutorials and information. And I'll see you in the next video.